WWE stock is nigh up. Uh, but even though the viewership is low, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. And a lot of people have been asking about, um, why the fuck is the stock up in WWE, which has just came out, but the viewership is down. Um, so, uh, we're gonna try and clarify a lot of things here. Um, we're also gonna be reading into how much WWE has earned in the stock market. Um... And, uh, yeah, it is very bizarre because usually WWE's ratings would drop. You would think the stock would drop, but it hasn't. It's actually going up even more. Um, matter of fact, it's actually really successful, the stock. So, I'm going to get into this right now. So, WWE stock reflects um, in its business success. Um, WWE stock price is showing that the business of having some success right now, while Raw's ratings are really disappointing, the stock reflects um, enthusiasm about the long-term prospects of the business. It's a, it's a long-term trend in the company, increasing value. Yahoo franchise shows the following stock has increased. In October 21st, uh, 2011, it was $10.62. On October 20, um, 21st, 2014, it was $13.82. And, and uh, obviously, October 21st, 2015, which is uh, yesterday, um, is now $18.95. So, fucking flies are everywhere. I swear to God, I get rid of the wasps and there's fucking flies now everywhere. We bastard. Anyway. Um, that is a massive increase of 78% um, from the time period of 2011 and a 37 increase uh, from the time the period last year. While fans might think that the business is in crisis, Raw isn't as hot as, as those numbers suggest as um, those in the know of the business world are confident of the long term success. Should be noted that WWE's YouTube channel has once again the most viewed YouTube channel in the world in September. That's two months in a row. Far from WWE dipping its popularity. Um, and I will be getting into that in a second. But I'm going to get in the stock thing first. Because I have a lot to talk about WWE's YouTube channel. As to why some of the other viewership is dropping in some other channels. But I'll get into that in a second. Um, so, why is this? Why is it that the ratings are down but the stock has gone up? It's because WWE is a safe bet for those um, people that are looking to go to Wall Street, etc, etc. WWE stock does massively increase. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it basically they do different practices. WWE's business ethnics is from global. So they would go to different businesses. They would get investors, people buying investment. Um, and essentially WWE is relying on this as well. Now, does that mean that it's a long-term thing, that it's going to go up well for the last three years? Uh, the stock has gone up. Um, a lot of you will remember last year, the stock did plummet a little bit. And uh, people were like, oh, shit. Um, but then uh, they sorted it out and it went back up again. So for the last three years, it has gone dramatically up. Um, the reason for that is obviously investors, um, WWE, uh, are very good in terms of a company, uh, and I don't mean this WWE storylines or the Raw shows, that's complete garbage, but in terms of a business, eth ethnics, um, they, they do thrive on that, um, their staff is very business orientated, they make a lot of contacts, and that's why the WWE stock is going up. Also, because of the WWE merchandise, the ticket sales, etc, etc, so, maybe because the ratings are down, that doesn't necessarily mean WWE is going to be an absolute failure in the future. Um, but... At the same time, though, investors of the stock might see that in the news that WWE's viewership for a television show is down. And sometimes they may actually pull out, which could be a massive issue for WWE. But as of now, their business ethics have gone up. Um, so from 2011, 2014, and 2015, it has gone up. Um, but as I'm sure you all remember last year, uh, the stock did dramatically drop at a point and Vince McMahon then was shitting himself. He was no longer a billionaire. Then he became a billionaire again um, in the next few months because he focused a lot on the business aspect. Um, that's why you probably don't see Vinnie Mac a lot on television because he's looking into this stock shit. Um, as for the YouTube channel, a lot of people are wondering, um, how is this going to impact some of the YWC or whatever it may be? Um, what you're getting is, back in the day, WWE looked at YouTube as a joke. 
Um, they looked at maybe people talking about wrestling as a joke. Then they found out that people were actually making money off this shit with people talking and people go, uh, the viewership was going up, etc, etc. Um, I remember in that booming, it was like 2013, 2014, where, um, where, well, I was making videos, and videos were going up to, like, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000, I mean, my most viewed video was 400,000, um, uh, I believe, I think it was, like, 400,000 in some shape or form, it was going up and up and up and up and up. This is the problem, though, is that because WWE have a main channel now, a lot of the viewership are looking for the actual content. They're not really looking for people like me talking about it. Although there are people that are coming in. Um, and WWE's doing well on YouTube. Um, and essentially, this has also added to the stock exchange as well. That's why their stock prices have gone up. Um, so... A lot of people are writing off Vince McMahon. Honestly, it's still bad. They're still in a bad situation. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say, oh, oh, well, because WWE stocks up, WWE are smiling and roses or whatever. I mean, they could be. I doubt it. But, you know, if, they're, if their viewership does plummet to a 1 or a 0, which I doubt will happen anytime soon. But you never know in the future, in the next five years. Um, that, essentially, it could affect the stock exchange and WWE could be in crisis. So, once again, the stock has gone up, but the viewership has gone down. Um, and hopefully I've explained a little bit on how that is. WWE's business practices outside the ring is a lot better than what they're doing in a creative standpoint. Um, maybe Vince McMahon will have to maybe take time to say, well, you know what, the stock's gone up, maybe I should add more emphasis on the actual show, which he should. Um, the reports now are saying that Vince McMahon is heavily going hard, hard on the creative team. He is really pissed off. And um, the reports are saying that we will see a dramatic change after hell in a cell. But however, as I'm sure you're aware, John Cena's gone. Randy Orton's gone. Brock Lesnar might be away. Undertaker, uh, still in question if he's going to be doing a UK tour. Um... And, and other things as well. So uh, a lot of the rosters away. It's going to be interesting to see what happens after Hell in the Cell. Um, <coughs> but uh, yeah. More, I'm, I'm more looking forward to the Halloween Hangout. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering what the Halloween Hangout is. The Halloween Hangout is. I'm going to ask a lot of the YWC personalities. And other personalities in sports. Baseball. Football etc. To come on the Hangout. We're all going to dress up in Halloween costume. We're going to chill out. The um, Hangout will start at. 7 my time, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is 3 p.m. Eastern, and it will last for 6 hours, so you can see me live, I'm going to bring other guests on, the reason why it's so long is because then other personalities can come in, go out, other personalities can come in and come out, so um, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm dressing up as a joker, I just need to hurt the green hair spray, and that's me. So, um, anyway, guys, hope that explains exactly what the fuck is going on with the stock exchange. Um, a link is in the description below. You can also check it out on Yahoo Franchise. If you just type in WWE Stock Exchange, you, you can see the figures for yourself. Um, so, guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.